I am Matt with The Geek Awakens, and I am here with Kez, uh, webcomic writer, mm-hmm. artist. Tell us a little bit about what you've, going, what you've got going on and how you came to be here. Oh, thank you very much for having me on your show, Matt. Absolutely. So I am here as a member of the Spider Forest Webcomic Collective. We're an independent collective, so every single member owns their own work and self-publishes on their own websites that they own. So here I have represented uh, five different of our anthologies. We publish one of these every single year. The group gets together and decides on a theme. The theme is the name of the anthology. As my own work here, I also have the story What It Takes, and this is a post-apocalyptic action adventure. It took me 12 years to finish this work, which I have worked on the Spider Force webcomic collective the entire time with it. So this past uh, August, I did a Kickstarter, became a project we love, managed to get to a stretch goal, and it is now beautifully bound in a single hardcover volume. So that story is completely finished. It is rated R, no children, please. (laughs) That's incredible. That's a long time and a lot of work. Quite a lot of work. That's fantastic, though. So your your work is available on your website, and then you have other stories in the Spider Forest anthologies? Correct. So um, every single Spider Forest member has their own website where they show their work for free. Okay. So what it takes is available online for free to read. The extra stories, however, are also in the hardcover edition. The anthologies are not free to read. They're in the books only okay. to sell. But the each artist or writer or team, you know, most of us are artists and writers like me. Mm-hmm. Some people are part of a team, and they all have different comics on their websites that okay. are free to read for everyone. Right. So why web comics? Why did you get started there? Uh, I've always loved telling stories, okay. and I always have loved seeing the stories. I've never been one of those people who growing up was told that, you know, comics are for children. I grew up with ElfQuest. It was a very, like, adult comic that I accidentally (laughs) discovered in the third grade. So ever since then, I was completely ruined. And I've just loved graphic novels ever since. And my sister one day was like, why don't you make your own? I was like, that's brilliant. I'll do that. There you go. And that's how it all started. Well, give our listeners a little bit of where we can find you and how we can get a hold of your stuff if they're not able to come to Peoria Con. Yeah. So I'll put out the plug to Spider Forest first. So that's spiderforest.com. You can find all of our work there. My work you can find at a acityinaplace.com. And again, rated R, so no, no kids. But the entire story is there. Um, and you can also purchase the book online if you are interested. Fantastic. Well, thank you much. Thank you very much. Thank you much. I accept. We're we're so good at this. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Um, enjoy the rest of your con, and I, uh, I look forward to digging into all of this. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate this, Absolutely. Matt.